back in, in Canada. He's a real nice guy. He's a real nice guy. Yeah, we were talking to Shinichi a little while ago. He said that he was a really, really good guy. So yeah. honestly, it's, it's just it's the next evolution. Yeah, a bunch of robots. Exactly. How about you? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Vanguard or Buddy Planet? Uh, they both have a different thing, right? You know, I just, I play them in different ways. With Vanguard, I play them in one mindset, but I play them in another one. They're both awesome games. And the anime is fun. Like, I'm awesome when I'm in one, and Mori Khan on the other, so I have fun with them both. Hey, it's real. What was the social media? We got something to talk Vanguard question. Who is your avatar? Who is my avatar? Oh, that's good. Like, my, my, you know, like, my guy? Like, yeah. Yeah. My go to guy. Um, do you want me to say Juggernaut Maximum? Yes! <laughs> 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 Gold Rutile! Unfortunately, you, my avatar is Acorn Master. Yes! <laughs> 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 that's great! Exactly, right? Yeah. So, that's Acorn Master is my avatar. Juggernaut Maximum, maybe. Gold Rutile would feel like a, you know, a fresh. Acorn Master. It's always laser. How did you know? Yeah, laser baby face. Or Gemini. Or Mermaid Idol for Lucha. Yeah, I uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. I love the young Irish. I don't know what the So who would win in a fight by two minutes ago? Me. Yeah, she she I'm won the uh, yeah. yeah. She won the last one that we did. She was on the top of the point, actually. So she, it's not really fair. You know, like, Sensei teaches me, and she's like, oh, uh, which is smaller than me, because that's what she's doing. And then I laugh and laugh and laugh. I even saw the gym, you guys are part of my junior wine. That was funny. It was great, yeah. yeah. I'm glad you saw it. Should we make another one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll yeah. bite yeah. some of the shot of whiskey. Yeah, sure. Ooh. I think we can drink it. 25 <laughs> shots. Yeah, five points of shots. Who's next? Yeah. Jason! Yes, hello. Hey. So, uh, when do you guys plan on making another video on YouTube where you both kind of had that card fight before, but you guys didn't know back then? Card fight history video? Yeah, card fight history video. Or with buddy fight, whichever. We, we've been asked that a few times now, and I think we, we, before we were like, I don't know, who knows? And now maybe if we should do it, which the show yells. I mean, if you, if you guys want us to make another, you know, mystery theater card fight, just yell it out right now. Subscribe, please. Yes, sir. I said subscribe, please. Yeah, subscribe, please. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah, we'll make it. Yes, yeah, sir. We'll yeah. Yeah. When we get back to town, we'll do yeah. it. We'll do it up. So find us on Facebook and uh, tweet that at Bushy Road. Uh, on Twitter, at Bushy Road Global, or on Facebook, just the card fight pages, North American card fight, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Let them know that you want to see it. They can maybe put it through Bushy Navi, stuff like that. Just keep on talking to them and tell them what you want to see, and they'll do it. We will do it, for sure. That's great. Yeah, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. Who's next? Uh, I'm going back to the court. Uh, you saying, you know, buddy fight like you do at the start of the match? Right? Uh, fight! Ready, fight! Uh, yeah. It's perfect. Ready, fight! Buddy, 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 Thank you. <laughs> My favorite part of everything. Clap, people! <laughs> okay, who's next? Uh, what's it like voice acting with all the other people that work in the cast? That's a really fun question, actually. Um, uh, when we record cartoons like this, um, it's we're actually we very rarely run into each other. You don't see people in the studio. You yeah. can record completely alone. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you record three late together, so... so that's the one where they draw the cartoon to match your voice. 
In this situation, we're, we're matching our voice to an already awesome cartoon. <laughs> so uh, we basically go in, uh, they give us three beeps. Beep, 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 talk. Uh, and, and, you, then, and you speak on the imaginary fourth beep, right? Yeah. And that's how you know when to talk and when they time you out. But you can't do that with more than one person at a time. So. Yeah. Unless you're doing what is uh, fondly referred to as a wall up. With all actors. Yes. Uh, which is basically crowd noises, which is a really fun recording session if you get to do it. Yeah. So you get your three beeps and then everyone goes, Woo! Or just like, talking in the background yeah, to stay like, oh, you the <laughs> The, the, when, when you see a crowd shot in any of these anime, that, that's like Caroline and I sitting there in the studio going like this. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, they, they, they. yeah but, So it's fun. Mostly we just see each other in the green room when we're walking in, and I was like, hey, you're like, you always know who's on like the same schedule as you. I run into Brett. Right. Brett, uh, who is, uh, oh, drum. Drum <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. question. Yeah. Who's up? Yes. Everyone shot. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Did you ever talk about your voice acting career or any particular part of your body play on your radio channel? Um, good catch. Yeah, I work in the radio. I, I have done it a little bit. There was an episode of the radio show I did with a guy named Ian Hawk. He's a uh, he streams on Twitch and stuff like that, so we, we touched on it a little bit. Um, it's a very different world on radio, so I, I especially the news talk show that I had, um, I was, I kept it more like, for way, way older people. Like that, the, the niche I was trying to build was talking to people in their 60s and 70s, and so I, well, I couldn't really bridge that gap, but it did to a certain extent. Um, but it's got a show, I'll be in the morning show, uh, like, just north of where I live right now. So maybe then, I'll get to do more voices and stuff like that. Yeah, it'll be kind of cool. Good catch though, you, how'd you know what the show? Well, friends on Facebook first, or something? Like, one time you actually, one time you randomly Facebook messaged me and then we had like a small conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you just mentioned that you had like a radio thing, so. Yeah. Did, like, was, like, just went on YouTube, just went on a bunch of like videos. And did you catch episode one? Episode one was actually, yeah, I interviewed her. Yeah, but I was definitely looking at yeah, check it out. Yeah, again, Susie, just find us on Facebook or find us on Facebook or Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Very sure. Nailed this. Questions for Carol. I wasn't doing Masaki's character, like, how I'm beginning, she's kind of like a little stuck up in, like, whatever, and, like, her character arc, like, how do you feel about it? Oh, The transformation that Misaki went through from episode one to season three, uh, for me, was awesome. <laughs> um, it, it was, I, I find when you're voicing a character, uh, the best way for me to do that is to try and just go through all of the things with the character, <laughs> line by line. As funny as that sounds, it's true. You kind of become the character yeah. that you voice. Yeah. yeah, you emote through them. And so, for me, it was such a relief. I think it was like episode 24, uh, somewhere in there. One. Uh, yeah. Like, right, right, what's it? Hmm? Which, which I, I, I was like, oh, after she found out, her parents were dead. <laughs> you know, after her uncle brought her to the scene of the car accident as a six year old. Um, but yeah, the, the growth that she went through uh, and really sort of opening up through the game and through her friends, I thought that was just awesome. Thank you. Good question. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Um, I was wondering, as voice actors and as performers, uh, where do you guys draw your inspiration from? Like, does, does it stem from a long time ago, or is it just like you find it in every day? Um, I think for me, I have to find it every every day. Sometimes you can take uh, you can take some inspiration that you've had in the past and use a voice for like kind of a, an approach that you've already cultivated. A lot of the time, though, you're thrown a curveball that you're not really prepared for, and you got to make it up. So I think what you get what you get good at and what you learn to enjoy is that you know that nervous feeling. Um, you you take that, you crunch it down, and then you just you, you use that, and then the inspiration just gets beams to you. Who knows when, right? Um, and it's, it's, it's very moment to moment. You just open yourself up to something and then it comes. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, of course you can draw from your life and that, but a lot of times I try and draw it from their life yeah. as opposed to my own. 
Well, because it's hard, drawing from, from your life. I don't have much experience as a demon or a magic world. <laughs> right? So I kind of, I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe one day. Just became a danger one. Yeah, so you kind of have to just go use your imagination. It becomes whatever you want it to do, and you learn to trust yourself in that. It, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, throughout your whole career, have you been working with other voice actors? Uh, like Kyle Weaver, or Big John Ryder, or Johnny Hopkins? A little bit. Uh, we were we were down in Edmonton, was it? And Christopher Sabat and uh, Troy Baker. And Patrick Sites. And Patrick And we were in Kirby Morrow and Michael Shower and Kirby Morrow. But we haven't done we're not necessarily on the same shows all the time, but kind of in person. Um, and they're all really, really good people. Kirby, do your Kirby impression. Caroline doesn't Hey, I love Kirby Morrow. So we've been working together our entire lives, and then these other guys are just going to come and go and we'll do a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Troy Baker's really cool, he's just about really cool. Yeah, super good guy. Yeah, he's a lot of other people. Yeah. Troy Baker does everything now, and uh, yeah, all the videos. He's yeah. the Joker. So, yeah, he's doing a really good job. He's a great guy, so. He's uh, last question? Last question? Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, they're releasing a... Then we're listening to episodes of Leave and Buddy Bites Season 1. How many episodes have been officially dubbed? So, of course, just one episode being dubbed throughout the entire week. Some. We. It's different. That's a much more technical question that we're probably allowed to answer. We, oh. we record things and, and then they get released when they get released. And um, I think there's a lot more at play than what you would expect from a business standpoint about when the release schedule is, is posted. Uh, they, they do their absolute best to make sure that things are posted in a timely manner, and yeah, we, we record when we're told to record. Yep. Yeah. I gotta get the sign quick. Yeah. <laughs> so now, are we are we out of time for questions? Yes, um, we are actually going to move into an uh, autograph session now. Autograph. We would like you to start for